Zero to Geek. Learning better is better. Hey geeks, how are you doing? So in the last hour we started working in JavaScript and actually we continued working in JavaScript. If you were new to JavaScript, you should have checked out our Getting Started with JavaScript title, but this one is these next few titles are all about object-oriented programming and getting you used to the concepts. So in the first hour, we really started to understand how objects work in JavaScript, and we started to see how object-oriented programming could work. We leveraged and worked with the Google Maps system just to start you know, playing in a playful environment. In this next hour, we're going to be focusing one step deeper into object-oriented programming in JavaScript, and actually the next full hour is going to be dedicated mainly to functions and to the prototype. Now, without talking too much and diving deeply into what prototype is, as we're going to talk about that in the following next videos, I wanted just to give you a brief overview so you understand what are you're actually going to get out of this title. So first of all, we're going to talk a little bit more deeply into um, how basically functions work. And we're going to see how functions themselves are a type of object, as everything in JavaScript is an object. And as such, we're going to learn and introduce ourselves to the call and apply functions. After we do that, we're going to revisit our object-oriented programming and we're going to learn how to use prototype to create methods, to create properties, and then we're going to compare between those properties that we created earlier in our last hour and this hour, and we're going to see which ones do we want to use and how do we want to use them. Once we did that, we'll move into working with built-in classes and built-in objects such as the array or math or any other class and see how we could extend them or how could we add functionality to them. So in this next hour, we're going to do quite a lot from adding more features to an object that already exists to extending that object and creating a, a, a kind of like a semi a object that is inspired by the previous object. We're going to see how to create methods. We're going to see how to create properties. By the end of this hour, you should have all the basic tools to be able to do JavaScript and object oriented programming. And really, if you're already familiar enough with JavaScript, this next hour is really all you need to know to start swimming in in object oriented programming. With that said, we're going to have another third hour that's going to be for reinforcement and to add a few more features that we didn't have a chance to talk about in this hour. So I hope you enjoy it and thanks for joining Zero to Geek. And if you're watching it in any other place, then, well, we hope you enjoy it. And if you want to check out some of our other titles, you can find it at zero to geek.com or you could join our YouTube channel where we have always a lot of free and great videos, I hope. And I hope you agree.